Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to create an Excel file with your C Sharp application using Excel library by Google Codes. So, I will extend that series in this video, and in this video, I will show you how to transfer your database value which we are working on we are using uh, mysql database in this video series and we have till now written so many things using mysql database so if you are following this these videos in this video i will show you how to transfer your database table values into an excel file using your your c sharp application so for example i have this table in my database which you have seen earlier also because i am using this same table in every database video so i want to transfer each and every value which this data table contains in the excel file how can I achieve that by using Excel library? I will show you. So if you don't uh, know the how to create an Excel file, just go to last video because it's very important to understand uh, how to create uh, the Excel library and where to add and find the Excel library DLL so go there and if you haven't watched that video just watch that video and this is just the continuation of that video so now i have this project and now i want to transfer the database value into the excel file so if you have seen the last video I have added this Excel library in my resources and I have added these two files Excel library compo compound document format and Excel library dot spreadsheet uh, into my code earlier and this also I have added right now so just add these four Excel library imports in your code now just go to a form once again and first of all I will run the program to show you something so here in the 13th video I have shown you how to load this table using MySQL database and using this button so I will show you the video number and title also this is the th 13th video show database values in table or data grid view and it's in my C sharp visual studio tutorials so I'm using the code which I have used in that video video number 13 and I will just click this load table button once again and this is the code which I have written in video number 13 so if you don't know this code just pause this video and then copy this code once again otherwise watch the video number 13 and you will be able to understand how to write this code in this code I'm going to add some new code so all the this connection is okay all these queries are also okay so when I run the program it will load the values in my data grid view or table 
and in this try catch after this sda dot update db database data set line which I have written up to video number 13 I will add I will make a space and I will add some new lines to create and export those values in the excel file so I will add these four lines in order to export my values to that that excel file so first of all let's see the query the query is select eid so whatever your table name is i'm basically transferring all in a simple way i just make this thing simple very simple so you will not be confused so for example this is my query select star from database dot your table name okay this is database name and dot your table name so i have this query this query will take all the values from my database and show into this table if you have written this code and now after this sda dot update data set code write this data set ds this is a variable name is equal to new data set okay and give any uh, name to your data set so i have given new underscore data set then copy this variable and paste it here dot local is equal to system dot threading dot thread dot current thread dot current culture write this line and then just copy your this mysql data adopter variable which i have written in video number 13 and paste it here dot fill and just copy this data table variable that's also i have shown you in the video number 13 and copy and paste it in this fill bracket in the next line write data set which is this variable dot table dot add data db data set which is this data table variable okay and then in the last write excel library this is the library code from excel library dot data set helper dot create workbook and in the bracket give any name to your excel file so i have given my excel file dot xls to my file name so if you have read the document the document says it can till now it can create excel as file so i have given my excel file extension xls comma this data set variable so just write these four lines add these four lines into your 13th video code and this will create an excel file of name my excel file and it will export all the values from your database into that excel file okay now i will run the program once again and i will give username password and now right now this table is empty but when i press this load table button and it's showing in valid cell values because some of the values in the database here are missing right that's why but it has loaded all the values in this table now let's see it has uh, created excel file or not yes it has created an excel file in my project folder 
and here this is my solution folder go to inside and go to bin and go to debug and in here it has generated my file wherever your executable file is there so I will right click it and open it to see if it's really imported the database values and it will show the warning say yes I am unable to read the values so it is unable to read the values because some of the values are null here okay so now I will try to just show employee ID name surname and age because they are all complete values and I will leave these four columns from uh, showing into the excel file because there are some null values so I will just edit my query first of all I will close it and I will edit my query here select EID comma name comma surname and comma age so I will show these four values instead of showing all the values and all the column values from these four columns should go into the excel file just run the program once again to and load the table once again and this time it hasn't shown me any exception and let's go into your folder debug folder and let's open this file once again and open once again the warning so just click yes and this time it has imported all the values from the database so yeah, employee id name surname and age and it contains the employee id number data till employee id 12 and you can see in the database also it contains the data up to employee id 12 okay so this data and this data if you can match our same okay so in this way you can export your database value into the excel sheet i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now